Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into Plug Power, a bit about the company, the recent earnings report they just released, and the deal that they made with a huge supermarket chain. Also, if you'd like 3 free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we see Plug Power is a company that is building the hydrogen economy as the leading provider of comprehensive hydrogen fuel cell turnkey solutions. The company's innovative technology powers electric motors with hydrogen fuel cells as we see a shift in the power, energy, and transportation industries to address climate change and energy security while providing efficiency gains and meeting sustainability goals. Plug Power created the first commercially viable market for hydrogen fuel cell technology. As a result, the company has deployed approximately 35,000 fuel cell systems for e-mobility, which is more than anyone else in the world and has become the largest buyer of liquid hydrogen having built and operated a hydrogen highway across North America. Plug Power's value proposition includes meaningful environmental benefits efficiency gains, fast fueling, and lower operational costs. We also see that Plug Power's vertically integrated Gen Key solution ties together all critical elements to power fuel and provide services to customers such as Amazon, BMW, and Walmart. The company is now leveraging its modular product architecture and foundational customers to rapidly expand into other key markets, including zero emission on-road vehicles, robotics, and data centers. So guys, this company is very interesting because they are essentially one of the leaders in the hydrogen fuel market that are pushing for huge adoption of hydrogen energy. And if you really believe in the hydrogen fuel economy, this stock can be one of the best pure plays. So getting into a recent deal Plug Power made, we see that their shares popped after the company announced a new deal with UK-based supermarket Asda, where Plug will provide the hydrogen fuel cell solutions to power their lift truck fleet within their supply chain network. Asda's partnership with Plug Power includes a purchase order agreement of Plug Power's full service Gen Key solutions, and the turnkey solution includes fuel cells, hydrogen fueling equipment, hydrogen, and Plug Power service. Plug Power released a statement that said, this new customer continues Plug Power's growth in Europe and represents the first deployment at scale of hydrogen fuel cell technology within the UK. As the currently ranks as the UK's third largest supermarket retailer and is part of Walmart, which as we said before is also a Plug Gen Key customer. The company adds that the deal will reduce Asda's reliance on traditional lead acid batteries. Andy Marsh, the CEO of Plug Power, said that each new opportunity to expand the adoption of hydrogen fuel cells is an important step to building the hydrogen economy. And getting into the earnings that Plug Power just released, they had a quarterly loss of around 3 cents per share, which beat the consensus expectation of a loss of 9 cents per share. This compares to a loss of around 8 cents per share a year ago, and this quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 67%. One important thing to note is that a quarter ago, it was expected that the company would post a loss of 10 cents per share, which had actually produced a loss of 12 cents per share. And over the last four quarters, the company's has surpassed consensus estimates just once. So guys, if you've been enjoying the videos so far, can you please drop a like? It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm, and I really appreciate it, and it lets me know you guys enjoy the content. So now let's get into the stock chart. Now guys, getting into the chart of plug power, we do see it's retesting this area that was a huge resistance confluence that I'll show you guys on the weekly chart. But it's not a coincidence that once we tested into this region, we found the rejection at around the $10 mark and retraced back all the way to the $7 region. So keep an eye out for this area, guys. You guys know that I always tell you not to go into overextended trades, and we're currently up 20% on today. Although we can be more bullish heading into the next few days, and we do see a lot of bullish volume coming in, there really isn't an identified trading region where we can take a nice trade and risk a small portion of our portfolio. Now, if we do get rejected by this region and we trend backwards, we can try to find support around the 20 exponential moving average, which we've used as support since the beginning of June, and we've trended much higher without really touching it, right? Once we had the huge market capitulation in March, we tested back up and used the 20 and 50 exponential moving averages as a catapult to trend much higher. And we see over here during the breakout, we had an ascending triangle formation that I always tell you guys creates upwards pressure when you're trading in a trading region for a long time, and we had a huge breakout on a lot of bullish volume that could have signified a higher uptrend in the chart. So keep those areas in mind. Now, where would I look at for a trade on Plug Power? Well, since we're currently overextended, if we do see a huge capitulation over the next few days slash weeks, we can potentially trend in this area, right? And we see that this was a nice bullish hammer candle where we did see a reversal. And here we have 3A2 confluence alongside with the 50 exponential daily moving average as well. So I think this area is a nice support confluence where we see three support levels and we can potentially take a trade risking around 5% of our 
our portfolio to maybe head to the high of this region, that would be a nice 6 to 1 reward to risk ratio and a gain of around 32%. Now let's head into the weekly chart to show you guys a clearer picture. And as you guys see on the weekly chart, during kind of 2011, and 2014, we tested back into this $10 region after we broke out of it in 2008, right? We tried to break out of the region just to get rejected by the 20 and 50 exponential weekly moving averages. And several times after we tested, we just capitulated further down. So there's a possibility to see a similar trend play out on plug power during this week guys so be careful because as i said we're already up 45 percent and this can be a good region where investors do take profit now what i want to see to be more bullish on plug power is a breakout of this 12 to 13 dollar region and a close on the weekly chart and i do think we can trend higher but the other key areas that i am looking at currently if we do see a huge rejection and a downtrend is this level over here which we talked about on the daily chart but if we do start breaking and closing on the weekly chart under this level guys i am going to be more bearish and i do think we retest back into this $6 region, which again, doesn't have to happen, but technically speaking, it's always a possibility if we do see bearish price action under this region, we lose our weekly support and we would trend much lower. So this level over here is very important because on the daily chart, we have the 200 exponential and simple moving averages sloping into that region. We have the 618 level confluence on the Fibonacci sequence. And we also have the breakout region of this ascending triangle formation that we talked about on the daily chart. And this 50 exponential weekly moving average is sloping into this area as well. So really this five to $6 mark, I think is a nice area to buy plug power in the midterm if we do see the stock trend back over the next few weeks. And if we take a trade in the middle of this region, guys, we can again risk around five to 6% of our portfolio to potentially uptrend to the top of this region, which would be again a five to one reward to risk ratio if the stock moves accordingly. So overall guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.